To start Dodeca on a Mac, we'll simply double-click the app file on our desktop that has been configured to launch the desired Dodeca application, which in this case is the sample application. First, let's take a look at the income statement. This view has been configured to automatically connect to SBase and build when it's opened. So from the market selector, we can easily view the income statement for California by choosing California and then pressing Build View. If we want the view to rebuild every time we make a new selection, we can turn the Auto Build button on. So now when we make a new selection for market, product, or scenario, the view will be rebuilt automatically. We can also configure views for cascading, which allows us to select multiple markets and products at the same time, with each report opening in a new sheet in the workbook. The income statement cascade view uses the same template as the previous view, but it's configured so that each set of selections will be retrieved into a new sheet. Any workbook view type in Dodeca can be exported or opened in .xsl or .xslx format, which is compatible with Excel, Apple Numbers, and OpenOffice Calc. Although Dodeca uses Excel and Numbers compatible XSL and XSLX workbooks, neither Excel nor any additional spreadsheet software is required in order to use Dodeca. Neither is any Windows or Microsoft licensing required to use Dodeca on a Mac. Next we'll take a look at the Product by Market view. If we right click on Colas for East, a context menu appears that allows us to view transactions by supplier which combines the S-Base data with supplier information from a relational database and utilizes Excel grouping on that supplier information. This view represents just one example of the way that Dodeca makes the transition from one data source to another seamless for end users. In this case, Dodeca makes the transition from S-Base data points to transactional information stored relationally without requiring the end user to know anything about the transition that occurs. It should also be noted that Drill Through in Dodeca does not require S-Base Studio or S-Base Integration Services. As before, we can open the view in Excel or Numbers by pressing the Open in Excel button. Next, we'll open the Input by Product view. We have SBase Writeback enabled for this view, so we can make changes to our numbers that will total automatically. To write changes to the server, we'll perform a send operation. Dodeca also has fully functioned audit logging. This view is configured so that if we right-click on the cell that we just changed, we can view the audit log for that particular data point, which displays the user that made the change, the time and date that the change occurred, along with the old and new values. Now let's take a look at the dynamic input view. This view is configured to allow multiple selections and to be built dynamically based on the products and markets selected by the user. So let's take a look at them and then we'll build the report. 
The dynamic input view is also configured to use comment ranges on the sheet, so users can add comments directly to the report. We'll add another comment here. The comments are then taken from the spreadsheet and sent to the Dodeca server, where they're stored and then retrieved on subsequent views. Next, we'll take a look at the Ad Hoc Analysis Excel Add-in Mode view, which, as its name implies, mimics the functionality of the classic SBase Excel add-in. We'll provide our credentials and then press Sign On and select the Sample Basic application. Double-click on the grid or press the Retrieve button to perform the initial retrieve. Now we can zoom in or drill through wherever we want. We can also perform pivot operations as well as keep only, remove only, and advance member selection. Finally, let's take a look at a SQL view where Dodeca is not communicating with SBase at all, but is connecting directly to a relational database. We'll open the Sales Order Details, Group by Product, Group by Salesperson view. Let's make sure that we have every item selected, and then we'll build the view. Based on our selections, this view is now pulling down and applying formatting to over 120,000 rows, over 60,000 rows in each tab. As before, we can export the view to Excel or Numbers with our grouping preserved.